Hey guys, Blitz FIFA here, and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play FIFA 14. As you can see, we're just going tr through our trade pile, seeing who's sold, and all that. So, if you hear any background noise, that's just my Xbox running. And yeah, so let's just get right into this episode. As you can see, I have a pretty nice amount of coins, 5,000, for only like 4 episodes. That's pretty good. And I believe in this squad, we're actually going to build our first team that we're going to start off the game with. And I actually can't get the early release because my I don't have enough storage on my Xbox because I have a really really old Xbox, and I don't see too much of a point in paying twenty four bucks for two days. And we pick up we see this guy and we pick him up and he's from uh, the Australian league. So I think why why don't we just make an Australian league team? I bet they have some some good silvers. And we're just putting our bench here, because you actually can't sell the people you got in your first pack. But this guy, I forgot, I actually bought him before, and I forgot to sell him. I just stored him in my club, because my trade pile was full. So, instead of buying a bench, I can just get these players, but I already bought a bench in a few episodes. So, let's not talk about that. And, what I've been doing lately is, I've just been kind of, not really investing, but just picking up consumables. So, when I start the game... I don't really have to worry about contracts and stuff. And that Moreno guy, I would love to sell because he's actually five star skills. But maybe I'll make a team around him. It's just the crappy part is he's in a center forward. And center forward to attacking mid cards are very expensive. And center forward to striker cards are very expensive. And I don't really have the coins now. But when I build my team, I really want to start playing around with the chemistry styles. And see how they work. Because currently, they're like... Three grand each for even the decent looking ones, not even the best. And three grand at this point in FIFA, it's you you can turn three grand into twenty grand within like a few episodes. But here we're gonna be looking for a life pack. And in this in FIFA in well in this in this squad we're gonna be playing we're gonna we're gonna be playing a four two three one because that's actually my favorite formation in real life and on FIFA. Now that they've added a right mid and a left mid, and we're just gonna pick up some players for our squad. Just put out some one fifty bids, see who's well rounded. These these I'm surprised actually by all the talent they have in this league. I, I thought it was just gonna be like one or two like good players in the team, but they're actually the DMs are very well rounded. So, I, back to the formation, I really like the 4 2 3 one because it's very, very balanced. And the only left mid in that league would have been this Fenton guy. And he's got decent stats for a bronze, so I pick him up. And the only left back, I mean, the only, I like the 4 2 3 one a lot because it's very balanced on the defense because you have four back, like, no matter what. Then you got two DMs. Which should stay back. And then you got still an attacking mid, a striker, and a right and left mid that can go up and down the pitch. But like consider like the four the four four two, the attack is very stale because yeah you have two strikers, but what if your center mid zone attack a lot? Or what if your center mid zone defend a lot? Then you're gonna be screwed on the attack or the defense. So, as you can see, we're just assembling the squad. I picked up a few players off camera, I believe. And, yeah, I forgot to click record. Do have to do it. And, as I've observed in the market, the last few days, trying to train and stuff, it's very difficult in the first place. Kits aren't working as well as they used to. Because, like, a lot of, like, bigger YouTubers with, like, 20k subs, they've been doing videos on kits and everyone started trying to do it. But this this is very old footage, so I actually picked up these kits like three or four days ago, and all of them are already sold and stuff. So, yeah, and now it's getting more to the point of player trading, but not a lot of people can trade with players. Like, it's either you got a lot of coins, or you don't have that much. And that's merely down to the fact that it's either you have the early release and you've opened a lot of packs with the Microsoft points or you're just trying to manually trade and you're only going to be max like at 20k if you manually trade. So there's not really a balance of like people with 50k. Because I know I was watching AirJ stream last night and he has somewhere near 400,000 coins already because he did like 30,000 points pack opening which is 
absolutely astonishing. I believe Atani, no, Bates and 87 spent $500 on up uh, on just Microsoft points for a pack opening. And Atani has 60,000 FIFA points, which which is a little bit crazy to me. I think that's way over the top. Obviously, I'm going to be doing some pack opening this year, but 60,000, that's... 60,000 Microsoft points is like 400 quid. That is a lot of money. So as you can see, we just picked up all these kits. Because this is really, really old footage, actually. And this is really old date, so I recommend not doing the kit method anymore. I will try to do something with consumables. That's what I'm doing. I'm currently investing in a lot of gold contracts. I believe I've spent you know, 2.5k on gold contracts so far. I'm just going to keep going because... You can't lose a gold contract for 200 coins. If they don't sell, you use the contracts. If they do sell, you make a lot of coins. So, well, we're kind of just going to wrap up this episode. Uh, if we can hit 10 likes, that would be crazy. Uh, follow me on Twitter, blitzfifa, twitter.com slash blitzfifa1. Comment in the comment section below if you have any like suggestions or anything for the series. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more of the series. I'll be pretty much uploading once a day, but if I'm really busy with school on a certain night, I may not upload. That only happens probably one, usually once a week. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and goodbye. Oh, P.S. I made a new intro. Let me know what you think of it in the description below. Bye-bye.